Hi, I'm here with Clyde McRae, who is a personal trainer who has been teaching us about slacklining. So, tell us about slacklining. First of all, what is it and how did you get into it? Clyde? Well, it's a, a one or two inch wide uh, cloth fabric string line that you can walk on. It can be strung between two trees. You can also have a freestanding slack rack, they call it, 10 feet long. And you can mimic a monkey walking along the limb of a tree. And how I got into it was uh, I was a former ski racer and ski coach and a gentleman named Ing Ingemar Stenmark who yep. won 86 World Cup victories. His training protocol was tightrope walking. Got it. And so I decided that's got to be for me. Okay, got it, got it. And what has it done for you? What do you do when you do slack lining? And what's it done for you? Well, I'd say uh, my horsepower in my brain has increased by quite a bit because, uh, you know, as I was talking to you about earlier, 95% of our uh, brain's power yeah. is used just to stand on our two feet. I, I find that to be fascinating. 95% of our brain is used just standing, not even walking, just standing. Correct. It wow. was Roger Sperry, he, he, in 1952, discovered the left and the right hemisphere in the brain. Yeah. And in doing so, he found that 95% of, of the brain's power was used just to stand up. Well, and so, in doing the slot line, how does that equate? Good question. Um, I had a TBI, a, a concussion, a traumatic so brain injury. Traumatic brain injury. And I needed it to, uh, to, to increase my, 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 my empathy and my patience and my intuition. And you're saying this because you had the TBI? You lose some of that, uh, yes. In okay. the hippo hippocampus there's... You lost your empathy. Yes, you lose empathy, you lose your patience. You seem like such a, <laughs> a caring man. I have trouble believing that. Well, there was a there was an A-B comparison when it happened. Really? But uh, and, and now that I've been slacklining, I noticed I've got my focus, my concentration, my intuition, my patience, and my empathy back. Wow. And uh, also, I redid my whole body, uh, you know, as, as a personal trainer, I, I was always fit and always strong. You, one of the things that you said, which I found really uh, intriguing, was you said to embrace the wobble. Can you talk about that? Tell us about that. Because that was just fascinating to me, and something clicked in my mind when you said that. So what does that mean? When you say embrace the wobble to people who are learning this, uh, what do you say? Well, when you first stand on a slack line, let's pretend it's a limb of a tree, a thin one the monkey's standing on, it's going to wobble left and right. And it's going to put you off your balance. And your brain is saying, oh, I'm going to lose it, I'm going to fall. And, and instead, what you do is you embrace the wobble, you stay in the midpoint of it, you let the wobble happen, but you just keep balancing, using your hands in this kind of position, and using the weight of the free leg to, to, to balance yourself. And the learning curve happens quite quickly. And in the Embrace the Wobble, what I heard, what clicked part of for me was let go, or let it go, yeah? Absolutely. Uh, uh, focus on your, your balance points, uh, relax your body, tune everything out, and just feel where you need to be. Interesting, interesting. Feel where you need to be, not think. No, if you, you overthink it, you're, you're on the ground or you're off, off sideways. Got it. And by Got the it. way, 
you can hang a, a slack line between two trees only a foot off the ground. So it makes it safe for kids, it makes it yeah, safe yeah, for yeah. seniors. Got it. And Got I've it. taught hundreds of people this, and I can't tell you how uh, exciting it is to watch their improvement. Okay. So you say it uh, healed you physically, you got in better shape, both physically and mentally. I, I'm lucky that way. I, I, I got my focus back. I, I got my patience back. Uh, I found the love of my life. I'm newly engaged. Oh, congratulations. And, and thank you, thank you. And I, I've also uh, been able to inspire so many other people. And when I see them come back to me and I see the smiles on their face and then I hear them say, Oh, I felt like a 10-year-old kid uh, playing with my friends in, in, the, in the backyard. And, and, and that's what it feels like every time you do it. And, and what it, there is is there's an amazing amount of improvement each time you do it. And the brain downloads all this balance and this information. Right. And each time you come back, you improve and improve and improve. And anybody improving in anything in life gives you self-confidence. Yeah, right. Got it. Nice, nice. Well, you were great with us and we learned a ton. Uh, I, I found it fascinating how something so simple um, engages everything and I mean it's you know when you, you see it, it makes sense but you know simply walking on a tightrope how can have such an amazing effect mentally and emotionally on a person uh, was quite phenomenal and once again the embrace the wobble is what really got me in the letting go and the, the natural balance just occurs and uh, I found it fascinating so thank you so much thank you Dan it uh, was great and once again Clyde McCray and the slack lining specialist Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Look forward to see you on the line again soon. <laughs> see you on the line. Yes. Balance. It's the key. As Clyde talked about, when you embrace the wobble and get into that feeling part, the feeling of your body will show you how to regain that balance and not to overthink it. And I found that fascinating when he said that to me, that you just let the wobble happen and you stay in that center place, that's when you get your balance. That's when you get your confidence also, because you're not searching outside of yourself for balance, which is really a great metaphor for the way most people live their lives, it's trying to seek balance or getting things outside of them. So it was a great uh, experience and a great uh, revelation as far as the physical body to let the body do what it wants to do and let it naturally find its balance. And that's such a great metaphor for us in life. Because when we desire something or need something, if we get too strict and too stringent as to how to get it or what we need to do, then I can just about guarantee you we're going to get hurt. I can just about guarantee you it won't go the way we think it'll go. Because the how isn't our business. When we embrace the wobble and put the intention out there, then it will show us how. But the how isn't our responsibility. So I encourage you to embrace the wobble. Don't get attached to how things need to be, or even attached to the outcome. Just embrace the wobble, which is your life, and allow life, knowing that balance automatically occurs. Keep seeking balance within yourself. Keep seeking the balance by finding out what it is that you want and need by feeling, not by overthinking, but feeling. And as you do that, balance will automatically occur. It's natural, it's our nature. Why? Because life is for living. This is Dane Stevens with her Solutions Tip of the Week.